The Vienna Vegetable Duel of 1829 is undoubtedly one of the most peculiar and amusing incidents in history. It all began with a heated argument between two gentlemen who were renowned for their wit and sharp tongues. The duel, rather than being fought with swords or pistols like traditional duels, was decided to be carried out with vegetables. Yes, you heard it right. Vegetables. The two adversaries, Count Heinrich von Brühl and Baron Joseph von Resso, were both members of the Viennese aristocracy and were known for their love of theatricality and eccentricity. Their quarrel had escalated to such a point that a conventional duel seemed insufficient to settle their differences. The choice of vegetables as weapons might seem bizarre, but it was not without reason. Count von Brühl's family owned vast vegetable gardens, and he prided himself on being an expert horticulturist. Baron von Rezzo, on the other hand, believed himself to be a skilled marksman with vegetables, owing to his frequent visits to the local market. The date for the duel was set, and word spread quickly throughout Vienna, creating much anticipation and excitement among the citizens. They eagerly awaited the unusual spectacle that was about to unfold. The venue chosen for this peculiar display of honor was a large open field on the outskirts of the city. On the appointed day, a sizable crowd gathered to witness the vegetable duel. Spectators from all walks of life, including nobles, bourgeois, and commoners, eagerly took their places, eager to witness this unprecedented event. The atmosphere crackled with excitement and curiosity, making it a day to be remembered in Vienna's history. Count von Brühl and Baron von Rezzo entered the field, both armed with baskets filled with an assortment of vegetables. Cauliflowers, cabbages, carrots, and turnips were among the chosen weapons. As they faced each other, the tension in the air was palpable. At the sound of the starting signal, the unusual duel commenced. Vegetables flew through the air, the adversaries skillfully launching their chosen projectiles at each other. The crowd erupted in laughter as vegetables missed their targets or crashed comically against the opponent's clothing. The duel continued for what seemed like an eternity, with neither opponent relenting in their vegetable assault. The spectacle became increasingly absurd as vegetables of all shapes and sizes collided in mid-air. Even amidst of the chaos, the two adversaries maintained a certain grace and flair as if they were performing a carefully choreographed dance routine. Eventually, exhaustion began to take its toll on both Count von Brühl and Baron von Rezzo. They reluctantly agreed to end the duel, realizing that further vegetable hurling would only result in wasted crops and sore muscles. The crowd applauded their decision acknowledging the light-hearted nature of the confrontation. In a surprising turn of events, the Vienna Vegetable Duel, which had initially started as a serious dispute, ended up diffusing tensions and bringing laughter to the people. Count von Brühl and Baron von Rezzo's peculiar duel became the talk of the town for weeks to come, leaving a lasting impression in the history of Vienna and serving as a reminder that conflicts can sometimes be resolved with humor.